Hey everyone, Pat from Aeroflow Performance. Today I'm going to introduce you to something new, which is the boosted B5455 bolt-on with an internal wastegate. So basically, we've been looking at, okay, where are the holes in our boosted lineup? And we've got the smaller, you know, the 48, um, the 4628s or the 5428, um, the uh, 4849 internal wastegate turbochargers that are the smaller, smaller side of things that are bolt on for like your SR20s or, you know, something along those lines. Um, and then we, you know, we jump right up to uh, the Falcon um, or the Barra direct bolt on, uh, you know, we're looking at the 5862, the 6662 and the 6762s. Um, and then there's this sort of gap in between, you know, that mid sort of 600 horsepower sort of range that's nice and responsive. Um, so we decided let's make one um, rather than sort of adopt something that is, you know, already on the market or, um, you know, similar to what everyone else has done. We figured let's just try and uh, let's just try and add this in uh, and We'll see what we can make it work with. So we figured uh, we figured that the 5455 is probably the best compromise between something that's nice and responsive, and also something that's still going to make significant power when it's teamed with a decently sized rear housing uh, and internal wastegate setup. So starting from the front of the front of the turbo, you might be familiar with this 5455. We've done a video on it before, but you can see there's the billet 7075 point milled nine blade compressor uh, so very efficient uh, lightweight uh, it's got all that latest technology of the point milling surge slotting that's going to allow it to make a very high boost level uh, you've got the speed sensor port in the front and then the auxiliary port for your boost reference so these are all familiar items uh, from the regular b5455 as we go to the core you'll see that nice compact core design with the water ports on either side it is a water cooled turbocharger so make sure that you use those for your warranty purposes we've got the feed fitting in the top which is restricted again if you're not using this feed fitting you do need to run a restrictor 0.7 or 0.8 mil restrictor in the oil feed line and then on the bottom as always the 38 to 44 millimeter turbo drain adapter will work on this turbo which is the 46305 part number that will work on there now the main changes from the regular 5455 comes in the rear so as you can see We've got our own rear housing uh, that we've ad adapted here. It has the internal wastegate flap, so you don't have to worry about running an external gate. And then you've got the nine blade turbine wheel uh, that's in there. So high flow, high response, new aerodynamic design. And that's all basically carried over from the B5455. So that's gonna allow you to get up to around a 600 horsepower mode. Some of the things that have changed or that are a little bit different that you'll see, uh, this housing is actually a little bit taller. So you can see from the flange inlet, which is a T3 flange inlet, compared to a standard T3 rear housing, you can see the height difference between the two. It's actually there because we've designed this turbo to be a direct bolt-on for an RB25 or an RB30 with the factory low mount manifold. So you can put this straight onto 
the skyline like you see, like you can see here, uh, the R33 with the RB25 and the factory manifold, or perhaps a VL Commodore uh, running an RB30 and the factory low mount style manifold. These will bolt straight onto those. And you won't have to run a spacer plate that a lot of people often do when they put a T3 turbo onto those factory manifolds. So that minimizes the amount of messing about. You've only got one flange gasket, you don't have a dual flange gasket. Uh, and that is just designed to fit straight on there. As you'll see in some close-ups, it's a pretty compact sort of situation down there on a low mount manifold, but this fits in just fine. Now on the rear of the turbo, we've adopted the Ford uh, style flange bolt pattern. So it's a five bolt Ford bolt pattern, which is common to your Barra bolt-on turbos um, that we've seen out there. Why did we do this? Well, basically because we knew that the internal gate design worked. So we went with that. We also know that there's plenty of flange options out there for the XR6 turbo bolt pattern. So that's nice and easy to get. But also we have this adapter. So we've utilized this adapter in this skyline here that we've done the dummy fit and the testing on. So this will take your five bolt Ford uh, outlet off the turbo and then convert it to a three inch V-band. So then you can fabricate an exhaust really easily based off that. You don't have to get someone to mold or shape to suit the five bolt flange. If that's a little bit too difficult, then you can just bolt this straight on the back, V-band, and then you've got your dump pipe that'll go straight down. As you can see on this unit here, we've got it mocked up. So we've got the adapter on the back and then the V-band here. This is out to a three and a half inch, but you can make it to whatever size you like. That means that Regardless of how you want to put this in or the space that you've got to, uh, to make a dump pipe off the back of that, you've got options between it. So the turbo comes by itself. And then if you want to use that option, that's available separately too. So another point for this turbocharger, because we've designed it to fit on that standard low mount manifold, we might find that there's quite a few standard bottom ends that are going to have this uh, turbo bolted to it. So as a result, the internal wastegate actuator is a billet body but it also has adjustable, well, you can change out the springs that are in there. It comes out of the box with a nine PSI spring. So your minimum boost pressure is gonna be around nine, 10 PSI. That's gonna be friendly for a standard bottom end, but you can also option up to the larger springs, 12, 14, whatever, all the way up to 20 plus PSI, depending on the spring combination. Um, that will allow you to run a much higher boost level if that's what you're going for. All right, guys, so as I mentioned earlier in the video, we've used this Series 2 R33 Skyline. Uh, it's an RB25 motor, rear-wheel drive, as a lot of you will be familiar with this car. It's a very popular platform. Uh, prior to fitting the 5455 Turbo onto this car, there was almost no modifications, and it remains that way. So we wanted to show that you can fit this Turbo to a bog-stop car and still get a great result, uh, and then you've got that great amount of potential from there. Now, factory, these cars make, I think, about 160 kilowatts, maybe 200 horsepower uh, at the engine. Um, so you're going to be talking, you know, 170, 180 horsepower to the wheels, possibly. I'm sure someone's going to point out that I'm wrong there, but it's going to be around that sort of range. Um, this car, before we started, had a front mount intercooler on it and a catback exhaust system. That's it. Everything else is completely standard. It's got standard valve springs, standard injectors, still got the standard manifold on it just the piping from the intercooler, and now the turbocharger has been installed. Not even a flash tune, not even, you know, we haven't EPROM'd it, we haven't done a NIS tune, it's got no aftermarket computer in it, nothing at all. The car runs our 5455, it has 10 PSI um, as a boost level, it's on 98 octane, and it now makes 240 horsepower to the rear tires. Uh, and that's coming on at around 3500 RPM. So considering you're going from a tiny little, you know, sort of 40 mil turbo um, for the factory turbo, and you've jumped up to that 54 mil turbo, the thing is still nice and responsive. It's made a great, you know, it's made a great increase in horsepower for no tuning effectively uh, on a standard fuel system, standard everything. This shows you that you can bolt this turbo straight onto a standard car and then you can go crazy. You can put your injectors on, you can do your valve springs, you can do cams, you can build the bottom end, and you can get all the way up towards that 500 rear wheel horsepower mark with this bolt-on turbo. All right, guys, now you know all about the boosted B5455 internal wastegate turbocharger. You can check it out at your local distributor, 
quality retail outlet or jump online at aeroflowperformance.com.